YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Scrap Mechanic. Today, we are back with a brand new build. Now, this is going to be a little mini-series that I'm going to do. Probably only going to last about maybe two or three episodes, but it's something you guys have wanted to see me build for a long time, and I decided to go ahead and tackle the challenge. It is a cliffside mansion. Now, fear not, we are not through with the apocalypse base or anything. I'm going to have an episode of that coming out here in a couple of days, but I kind of wanted to take a small little break and start something new in between. So we've started this mansion here. I've actually gotten quite a bit done here. So we're going to go on a little tour of what we have so far. and I'm going to get some of your guys' suggestions for the future of this cliffside mansion. So anyways, let's go ahead and jump on over to the mansion. All right, so it feels kind of odd actually doing a normal build. We've been doing stuff like the... Uh, the sky base, we've been doing the underwater base, so a little weird returning back to like a house build. So we're going to go ahead and get a little aerial view of it here. Now this is actually the back side of the house and I have to say most of the back side is done. Uh, it's really the front side where I'm debating on if I'm going to extend the house forward or if I'm going to keep it the way it is. I haven't filled, uh, filled out all the rooms yet, there's a couple lacking that I want to get your guys opinion on so let's go ahead and fly over there. I'm actually using the scrap flyer right now, or his little drone flyer, just to give a little aerial shot of the house. And we're going to hop over to this side. Let's go ahead and kill it here. There we go. It's a fantastic little flyer by Scrapman. I use it a lot for my uh, aerial shots. People always ask me, well, how do you do the aerial, sh aerial shots in the intros? And uh, that's the flyer that I use. Now, please ignore this side of the house. This side of the house is absolutely ugly. It is just not done. This is where I'm debating if we're going to extend it out or not. But we're going to start here in the bottom level. Now in its current state, the house is three stories, the bottom being the uh, garage and gym level. So uh, as soon as we actually get a complete area or a complete extension out here, I will put some garage doors on it. Uh, I'm taking a lot of these uh, reference pictures from the uh, internet. I found a modern house, and I'll probably flash a little image of it on screen, uh, that is mostly based on what I'm building here. And it's got some really cool features to it. One being this little indoor garage here. Oh boy, I would kill for a garage like this. This is absolutely fantastic. Now, the garage itself fits about three cars, maybe four if you position them right. Or maybe you can have like a motorcycle or maybe an ATV or something in here. Now, like I said, we are going to put some garage doors on there as soon as I figure out where the actual end of the garage is. Now, this from the pictures that I was actually referencing for this modern house... Uh, this is actually a weird kind of indoor style garage that actually hangs off the cliff. Uh, this was absolutely stunning from the pictures and I thought, alright, I have to have this in my modern house. So you can see, that is a long ways down, but really cool looking. It's something that I thought you guys would absolutely appreciate here. So yeah, we've got this, probably going to add some pillars down here to make it look like it's a little bit more supported. And then uh, the garage doors will come here very soon. Now, if you're wondering what this is over here, this is another one of those we're debating to see what happens type deals. This will actually be an elevator, and this will be a three-story elevator once it's done. Uh, you can see all the other stories up here. But I'm debating on that fourth floor. I'm not sure if we're going to go up that high, so we haven't placed the elevator in yet. Uh, this is all going to be like a work in progress, and I do want some suggestions from you guys for this build. So from here, from the garage, uh, you can't go anywhere but either the elevator or out to one of the first patios. Now this patio is like a gym patio. Uh, you can see we have some gym equipment here. It's actually blocked off in the back, but you still have that stunning view off the side over here. So yeah, we've got some gym equipment, got a little treadmill here. Uh, we've got a, it's like a little weight machine and then a punching bag in the corner. Now you're going to see several mods in this build, by the way, that is actually my wheel cover. If you're wondering what the CG is up there, I occasionally, when I remember to use it, I will use that in Multiplayer Mondays, but I do forget sometimes. But yeah, we're using some uh, mods. Mainly the only obscure mods that we're using is something that I used on the underwater base, which is a furniture mod. And it has these sweet TVs in here, so you got like a, tool, a dual TV set here on this little wall. So we're going to walk around here, and this is going to lead up to the second floor. Now you can walk all the way around. I'm not sure how I'm going to connect this patio into the front of the house. I want to say we might need something big to block off this little guardrail because it seems like you could easily hop over it and get into somebody's backyard, which is a little odd. But anyways, let's go ahead and go up the stairs here and go to the second floor. Now this floor is 
I would say this floor is actually probably about 75% done. Uh, the whole back area is pretty well done. There's a couple more features that I do want to add that I just now really thought of within the past 20 minutes. So I'll talk about those here in a second. So, what big fast, fantastic backyard is not complete without a pool, a bar, lounge areas, multiple patios. Uh, this whole backyard's got it all. So let's go ahead and start to go over each of these in detail. Okay, so we're gonna start off here with the little bar that we have here on the patio. It's got a little bit of a view too. Uh, I do like the way this looks. This was actually another reference shot from the picture. Uh, I saw they had a bar positioned over here. So you can go back behind here, uh, serve some drinks up for your friends. You've got the little TV here. You got some speakers set up. Now, one little feature I do want to add to this bar, and this is one of those things I just now thought of. A yellow switch here. This obviously turns the lights on and off. But uh, this little patio or this little ceiling area actually hangs over from the rest. I thought about uh, wedging a piston in here and then making it where it actually slides out. I really don't know if that's a useless feature or not, but I thought it'd be a neat little feature to see here. So. Yeah, there's your uh, bar area. You can sit here, have a drink, and then go take a swim in the pool. So we're gonna walk out the back here. This is another little lounge area here. We've got a little fire lit up. I'm just using some lights down here. So you've got a little uh, fire pit area. So if you wanna set out with your friends and kind of take in the view back here, and this is one of those little furniture mods. Now, I used to build a lot of my furniture and I've got a lot of it saved on the lift, but to me, furniture can get really boring to build just constantly so it is nice to have some of these pre-built parts that way I can focus a little more on the actual design of the house and the layout and the way it looks so uh, I know some people might not dig all the pre-built furniture but this was this is really mainly only for this mod or this house build itself I don't always plan on using this type of furniture but yeah nice little setting area over here so we're gonna walk over here this is the pool now this is a small pool but it's neat the way this one works. So the pool starts off here, this is the shallow end, and then it goes all the way over to a deep end down here, and we've got another patio deck uh, down on this side, and this actually looks really cool from here. So yeah, this was another one of those uh, shots where I was looking at the picture, and I was like, man, that pool actually is see-through, and you could tell where it's shallow on one end and it gets deep on the end that hangs off this balcony. So. You can hop into there. Now, I've been debating on using the water block from uh, Durf. Uh, iKey07 just came out with an animated water block, and I really think that might be the way we go with this, because I would like to be able to stand here. Right now, this is really a painted water block, or actually a painted glass block on the bottom and a normal glass block on top to kind of give it that little streaking effect of water. Uh, but I would like to have that animated mod in. Hopefully very soon, so we'll probably put that in here. Over here, this is another small little lounge area. This is a modern house. Every picture you see, there's tons of patios with just a lot of furniture. So this is another area you can lounge in front of the pool. Get your own little TV here, and you've got a doorway that leads into the house itself. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to walk down. Just walked over water there. I'll walk down to this patio, give you guys one more look at here. Uh, this was uh, also some custom furniture that I had to put in. Uh, a couple little lounge chairs, kind of lean back on those and enjoy the nice open atmosphere and be right by the pool. So yeah, let's go ahead and go up back to the second deck. All right, so we are probably ready to go ahead and go into the house. Now I had a lot of Discord members asking me, where do you find the time to build stuff like this? And this is why this is like a two part series. Uh, one, because I want to see your guys' opinions on a lot of things. And two is the whole fact that I didn't have enough time to finish this thing off and I've still got a couple more plans that I want to do with it. Uh, this is probably I would say about six to seven hours into this build, uh, the progress that you see now. So I'm probably gonna need another six or seven to finish this thing off. But we're gonna go here. This is like the open living room, dining room, and kitchen area. This is all, I would call this the main floor here. So you could probably take your elevator up right here or you can walk in through the side patio. Now, if you're gonna ask about this patio being open, I do have a plan for this. I'm gonna put long glass pieces on the back here, and I'm gonna have a piston uh, built up into the ceiling here. Now, these ceilings are two to three blocks thick, so I can fit a mechanism in there that's gonna slide a door and actually close these patios off. That way, say, if it's raining outside or it's night and you wanna close it down, you can do that. So, we will be doing that here in the future. 
Now, as far as the setup, you're pretty basic. Uh, it's a, like a modern kitchen setup. Uh, you got your fridge over there, microwave, coffee maker. You've got a little bit of a wraparound counter with an island in the center here. I debated on making this a bit bigger, but it looked a little odd uh, with it being so close to one of these doors over here. So uh, this was the door that came from the patio by the pool. So you've got that. Uh, you've got a little living room area here. Uh, this is another one of those situations where seems like a lot of these houses just have countless numbers of like little places to sit with TV. So I guess we'll call this the main little living room area here. And behind it, we have a dining room table right here. You've got a little chairs all around it. I'm not sure if I 100% like this. I like the glass top, but I might change it. Not sure. We need to get some lighting in here. Maybe that will give me a little bit better idea as to what we want. I do have a bit of lighting in here. You can see the, the kitchen's lit up, but I'm debating on if I want to do uh, more of these circle lights and just kind of sprinkle them all throughout the living room and dining room area or if I want to try to make some more custom lights. We'll have to see about that. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and walk around here and you can see out the front here it's got a nice little view. I actually like this window setup that I'm doing here in the front. I might put out another patio, I'm not really sure. But yeah, you can walk around here, it's a little hallway over in this area and this is actually surrounding the elevator here. Now let's go ahead and go into our first bedroom here. Uh, we do need to put a door on this and this is going to be I wouldn't say this is a master bedroom. This is just going to be like a guest bedroom here. Uh, once again, using some custom parts here, I really, really like these beds. Uh, the default scrap mechanic mattress to me is ugly. Uh, let's see. For those who, for some reason, who haven't seen this, let me go ahead and pull it up real quick. Here is the default bed here. A lot of times you can make a custom bed out of this. Maybe you stick two of the mattresses together and then maybe put like a border or a bottom to them, but not a big fan of the way these look, so I'm definitely loving this custom mattress here. Let's go ahead and put this away. Uh, you can still lay on it. Really nice. You've got some modern art behind it, some end tables, and this is going to lead into one of the bathrooms here. And then we got a big dresser over here. Kind of like the way this one's set out. We might change some wall coloring in here, but this is uh, morely a work in progress bedroom. I actually have the master bedroom upstairs done, so we're going to go check out that next. Now there's two ways upstairs. You can use the elevator, of course, or at least the non-existent elevator, or you can use the side steps. So you've got this set of stairs here that leads up to the patio area or the second story, and then you've got this set that leads to the third story. Now this is more like a personal door right into the master bedroom. So we'd open this door here, and here is the master bedroom. This thing is really cool looking. I was looking at several pictures, trying to get a feel for how modern bedrooms look, and I thought, well, we have a lot of room up here, so we're going to make it extra epic. So you're going to have your own little living room area here, as you can see from the setup, uh, kind of using the same speaker setup, got your big TV on the wall here, got a little carpet down below. As you can see, I've changed up the materials on the wall. You've got like a gray wall over here. You've got a brick wall on the back side here with a little gray outline. I've used some free bearings here, kind of adjusted some of the furniture to give it more of a natural feel around here. So yeah, I'm really happy with the way this came out. If I had a house like this, this would definitely be my bedroom here. Now, a couple cool features about this bedroom here. Uh, once again, they've got two patios here. You've got the one off the back, so a nice little backside patio. Or they're going to have a front patio here, so they'll be able to see out the front of the house too. So you got a dual patio, and that's really about it. I still need to do a master bathroom, and this is where... Uh, that you're going to notice this third floor is kind of blank looking uh, because I'm still working on some floor planning in here to try to fit in a master bathroom. And I've got a lot of space up here to deal with anyway, so there's going to be a couple more areas built up here. So you can walk around here. Uh, there's the top of the elevator. You can see over off this one of these decks here. Uh, I pointed this out in my Discord. A lot of people were like, well, you need a bunch of sub-levels and everything else in a... Uh, mansions and if you don't know what a sub level is it's like where you have like some decks or some levels in between the floors and i think we've accomplished that with some of the decks not necessarily with a lot of the floors itself but i think just the way we've laid this out this is actually somewhat what they were talking about so you've got this here this is a pretty big open area we'll kind of mark out some floor planning for this here very soon and then you got a hallway down here now i had to stop myself with this room at the end here 
Uh, this is kind of a tight area. This leads all the way over the pool to the backside. It's got its own little personal patio here. And I thought, okay, is this a Komodo gaming house? We might turn this, what was gonna be like a library, uh, we might turn this into a full-on YouTube studio. I think this would actually look really cool up here. I might put in like a green screen here, have a computer set up over here, and just have various YouTube type deals up here. Something uh, that would be a room that I would go to and get my YouTube work done. So let me know what you guys think about that. I, I actually feel like that's a pretty good idea here. But yeah, that's about it for the third floor. Uh, still a little bit bare. Now, I've debated on adding a fourth floor. I don't know if it would look that great. Uh, let's go ahead and walk out here and give you guys one more little view of the house itself. And let me know what you guys think. Either that or we're going to make a connection. Maybe from the end here and maybe connect it over into another, not a separate house, but maybe a little bit of an add-on to this existing house. Now, you can see, uh, like I pointed out earlier, there's still a lot of progress that needs to be done here on the front couple more windows need to go in, some paintwork needs to be done, some molding needs to be done to make this look a little bit more natural, a little less like a bunch of random squares poking out of the side of the house. So this side needs a lot of work. Uh, if we extend anything, it might be over here or it might be at the end over here. Now this side of the house is actually for the most part done, except for this empty area right below, which might turn out to be some outdoor parking and we might put a pillar up here just to make it look like that deck is supported. So. Kind of give you guys an idea as to what this looks like all around here. You've got some uh, of the, I think this is the iKey vegetation mod. Put up some palm trees around here just to give it a nice little look. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, we will be doing probably, like I said, one or two more episodes on this build here. I just wanted to kick this off, show you guys my progress so far, and kind of talk about some of the plans that I had for this modern house. So anyways, folks, hopefully you enjoyed this episode of Scrap Mechanic. We will be returning with some more apocalyptic sky base here very, very soon. Got some cool builds planned for that. Plus, you guys have been sending me a ton of awesome stuff for that base. And I really look forward to placing that stuff actually in the sky base itself. So, yeah, if you like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. I will put a download link for this house up as soon as it's actually done. I Like I said, probably got another two or three episodes to go on it. Yeah, folks, hope you have a great day, and we will see you guys next time here in Scrap Mechanic. Thank you.